So originally I planned on using a few of these voltage dimmers uh, with a little potentiometer attached. I recommend you don't buy these things. And I'm going to do a little experiment here. I'm going to show you why you should not buy these things. <clears throat> so I have it set up so you should be able to see all the relevant components to this experiment. Keep your eyes on the multimeter at the top. We got the power supply on the right and we have the uh, little uh, voltage regulator on the left next to my hand um, and also the positive and negative attached to a strip of LEDs. You can see this device uh, dims the lights pretty well, but when you set it to its maximum setting, 100%, it only goes up to about 11 volts and it also only draws about 1.1 amps. Yeah, see 1.1 amps maximum at about 11.11 .11 volts. That's all it's going to get to. But these lights are rated for 12 volts. So if we just bypass this voltage regulator, which is a pulse width modulation voltage regulator that was set to 100%. Um, so if we just bypass that little device entirely, uh, if you look at the voltage uh, or the, the power supply on the right, you can see that once I figure out how to plug this in, it draws 1.5 amps almost. Um, and the lights are significantly brighter. In fact, it hurts to look at them. Uh, just eyeballing it, they look 30% brighter. So we're just gonna not use the voltage regulator at all, and we're instead going to use a couple of switches. So we'll have the setting of 50% brightness or 100% brightness, and we'll have two panels. Uh, but I don't recommend you buy these uh, devices. They're, I mean, you can get a three pack for 20, $22 and they are neat and you can use them in other projects if you want but for this project it's going to steal voltage from you and you're going to have less bright lights. I want to give a shout out to my first patron Lucas Rivera. Thank you so much for your contribution. Uh, just for you per, per your request I'm going to burn some extra things with my taser units. Thanks guys. Please like, please subscribe and have a great day. Piece of solder. No noticeable damage, it didn't melt or anything. Piece of toilet paper. Nothing really burns, just kind of, I mean it pokes little holes through it, but it doesn't really burn. It smells burnt. <clears throat> hmm. How about a microfiber cloth? Definitely smells a little burnt, but nothing, nothing like flaming. It smells like burnt hair, kind of. And that's it. If you guys can think of anything else, let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Have a great day.